Thank you so much for coming today. The first thing I want to do is pay tribute to my colleague, my comrade, and an all-round excellent individual, and that is to David Hardman. David stepped in, to be honest, at an incredibly difficult time when we lost, as Rose said, our valiant fight at Cliffsmere. David stepped in knowing fine well the sort of abuse and attacks that he would have upon him for actually standing up to this management at this place. And he didn't just stand up, he did it with vigour, with, with loyalty, with a commitment to his students and a commitment to working class education. I salute you. You are what London Met is about. And I salute my students, all of them, because to be honest, it is the students who are awkward, who are bullshy, who are committed, who stand up, who are critical. That's what we are about. We are about giving working class people a voice. A voice that matters, a voice that will be heard, and a voice that will cut through all of the crap. That's what London Met is about. We are a mirror. We're both a mirror to the shitty world around us, but we're also a mirror to the inspiration, to the hope, to the vitality we can see in order to fight for that better future we all need and we all demand. That's why I've been proud for the last 13 years to work at London Met. I'm at London Met because I believe in the values of London Met. And it's more than I can say for the last set of four vice chancellors. They come, they make cuts, they go with big pensions. They do not give a damn about the people of London Met, about the communities we represent, or about education in general. We do give a damn. That's why we have to speak out. Lots of people have told me that I'm brave. I'm not brave. To be honest, I'm not brave at all. I get scared when I think at 52 I'm going to be unemployed. I get scared when I know that management not only are attacking me, in a sense, publicly, I've also seen the emails where they're naming me individually, where they're saying the sorts of things that I'm doing is bringing not only the university into disrepute, but somehow I'm orchestrating mobs and all the rest of it. Of course that hurts you personally, of course it makes you feel victimised. But, at the end of the day, I'm not fighting for me. I'm fighting for something a damn sight bigger than me. That means I'm not scared when it comes to what I am fighting for. There are millions of people throughout the world who have died for trade union rights. It's not about a little bit of bullying. But to be honest, the only way you can ever deal with a bully is to stand collectively and say no. That will not happen. That will not pass. We will not give in. We will fight. We will resist. And we will win. Sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes you get chips and bumps and bruises along the way. Now, I'll be perfectly clear. In a couple of weeks' time, I'm technically redundant. We've already, and this is a good news, we've already, UCU, have told us explicitly we are now taking them to court, and we will win that court case. The truth is, however, I'm fairly certain they did a bit of a balancing act. And the balancing act was this. I think they know they will lose that court case. Because at the end of the day, they haven't given any evidence or anything else. But they'll work on the basis it'll take about six months for that to happen. And is it worth it to them to get embarrassed in court in six months' time or to have me and David around for the next three months fighting the 395 job cuts? I take it as a badge of honour that they're more scared of me being around now than they are about me winning in six months' time. Well, guess what? I don't have to be working in there to be standing out here. That's and that's what I'll be doing. Yes. I'm not going anywhere. We are going to fight both outside and inside. We are going to be marching on the 23rd 
and we are going to be taking these people on and we are going to win because what we are fighting for as I've said is bigger than us and we will be marching alongside Jeremy Corbyn our local MP he is on our side and we are on his because the values that we espouse are the values that he espouses these are the values of collectivity these are the values of society you know and like somebody's already mentioned the idea that Theresa May is now the cuddly wing of the Tory party she tried to deport 2,000 of our students she put them through hell and it's right we did turn round to our management and we said we are marching on the home office and you've got a choice you either try to stop us and we'll come out unofficially or you'll just go out and get out of the way and we're still coming out we came out we marched on the home office we demanded our students stay here and guess what we'll be marching on saturday to say no to austerity no to racism the tories must go and not our tories that are in here, or it's Tories in there that happen to have a Labour band around them, but they're still Tories and they still have to go. So solidarity to all of you. We are fighting and we will win. Thank you. Yeah.